Inside the Game. This is RadioITG.com. And as we are officially now counting down, Zero Barrier taking on t- the Communist Bastards are for the QuakeCon qualifiers. And this will get underway in exactly four, three, two, one. We are go, go, go with Zero Barrier starting on the Axis side. Chad Rafiki, Diablo, and Frisco, and Ziff, all from yeah, the Benelux region, Holland and Belgium, over on the uh, communist side. Actually, no Russians there, unfortunately, as uh, we have Rev Gigolo, Hex, Apocalypse, uh, Madness, and Mercy. Talk about pings, ladies and gentlemen. I got a few requests for that. Well, Team Massacre pretty much exactly on 100 all of the time. Beautiful connection from Benelux to the uh, New York. Tell you what, though. <laughs> Communists have got a couple hundreds themselves. Artillery raining in for months. Hey, Gigolo hits the deck. We'll give you the ATTV sync up in just a moment, folks. As uh, the communist side about to rain down over this hill towards the objective. Into that garage they will go. And Rafiki, Ziff, and uh, Chad have set themselves up. Frisco and Chad, members of the Belgium ET side, who on Sunday claimed a place in the Euro Cu- in the Nations Cup final in the most controversial snow circumstances ever. Grenade about to go off. It does connect from Chad. Frisco, K43, double time. Hicks and Mercy both picked off there as Hicks is now going to make his way in for the communist side to get those parts. Picked off by Frisco's K43. That's four frags for, Chris- for Frisco. Absolute dominance here by the by the sniper here from Belgium as he just shoots across. Frisco, you know, Pantherfaust by trade and RTCW showing he's sniper by trade if need be. Come ET as uh, Higgs is going to make the move on those parts. Now Frisco comes across. Oh, just can't do it there, but the respawning axis side are going to make a move on the players here. It will be Higgs to move those documents apart. He will go straight for those, straight for the truck. No, he won't finally backing away. Fire for effect is in on the truck, but Mercy will pick up Higgs and the parts backed up by Rev. The Allied side about to uh, wait to, to clear out that truck. Gigolo given the charge, the former Amish player for RTCW. Mercy's in the back of that truck and the gold is secure and that truck will slowly make its way towards the door and Team uh, and Zero Barrier are just about having to self-kill and fall back. This is a very aggressive map. Very, very fast-paced and, uh, you know, we can expect to see anything from four minutes to eight minutes as an average time here for the Allied side to set. Now let me give you that ETTV sync up as i got people screaming for it. We have got 12 minutes and 49, 48, 47, 46, Rev and Mercy getting picked off. Rafiki's K43 this time downing Mercy as Gigolo went silenced by Ziff's MP40 in the very doorway. Uh, Gig, the, uh, the communist side making a move for the pot, making a move for the flag right now. They get it with five people swarming it. One axis to try and cut them all down. It's Ziff who's blown away. Chance grenades coming in. Axis side dropping down for this flag. Just two commies left to go. But they're going to battle it out communist style as a unit for the country, for the good of the team. And now those commies will go down to the right hand side. But no! The Axis side just won't give up this flag. Zero Barrier, old school RTCW legends, now back in ET after uh, after moving from Team Massacre. Going to clear out that flag and uh, now the Allied side will make a push. Having secured it, Dynamite will go down on the west security door right now as simultaneously it is doing so on the east. Absolutely no defense at this stage from Zero Barrier. Nothing they can really do other than hold off the inevitable with the Dynamite plants as uh, if they were out for the spawn. And now the rifle nade is going to rain on in here as... Uh, Apocalypse and Mercy will make their way down. It's grenades made across. It looks like it's going to be an east push to start off with. As Rev and Hicks, though, on the other side, connect with Stan and Thompson Frags. Rifle name from Rafiki. Goodbye, Gigolo. And now he will be, in fact, picked up by Apocalypse. Uh, Apocalypse, as uh, with 11 minutes and 30 seconds exactly, those walls blow and we go through. Mercy, Apocalypse, making their way in. B- backed up by Gigolo. If he can be revived, it will be Apocalypse to get the revive. Covert Ops making their way in towards the cooling controls. Not going to happen. Down goes Und at the parts. And already, the commies are going all the way across. They will uh, They will make their way through Gigolo and Apocalypse. Um... Clearing out both doors, in fact, and they're straight through. They're straight through. Magnus has dropped in. Mass, uh, Zero Barrier did the clever job of actually picking off the uh, COVID ops rather than medics. Medics has now picked everyone else up, and they will clear in as uh, they, the massacre side will clear in towards these parts. Ziff will go for the re- reconstruction, backed up by Rafiki. Gigolo is the one to try and clear it out. He will get cut down, but Rafiki will be the one to clear up, rifle nade up, but mm, Zero Barrier have to get a crossfire up quickly, very, very quickly, as the K43 fire comes across from Rafiki. Not going to work. Higgs low HP, but will just wait for his charge to come back, as will second Covert Ops Mercy. So a team kill revive going in. Mercy will toss his Santa charge out, both in at the same time. They will only blow the one, of course, as the cool controls have 
have gone, but very costly if you use your charge bar and you get killed, which is the case for Mercy. Madness going to come in with the knife frag, and there goes Engineer Ziff, but they have got that got those coolant controls back up, and Coolant Tower 1 is refilling very, very slowly, but it is up to about 100% fill. It is now. Higgs will drop down the satchel charge, and the commie side just getting control of these coolant towers, but not able to do anything about it. Not able to do a single thing about it, as, mass, as uh, Zero Barrier recover each and every time, as uh, Rafiki will now go through. Gowns Apocalypse, no gibbs going in, they don't have the time for that, and Rafiki is uh, is going to get gibbed himself, though. The Axis side trying to reclaim those coolant controls, but have no engineers to speak of, and down at the coolant controls, reaches for help, not going to come. Ziff making his way around with the MP40, picked off by the pistol shot of Madness, and he's backed up by four other Kami players who will make their way around. Coolant Tower 1 is about gone now, with 9 minutes and 30 seconds on this clock. Coolant Tower 1 goes away as uh, the Axis side come from the respawn. Chad and Ziff and Fresco to make their way across towards the coolant controls. Fresco is down, not going to get revived as we follow Chad trying to make his round across. Oh, FG42 in the back from Mercy coming across. Apocalypse downing two with his Thompson. Revive coming in. Ziff has to be picking off these frags. They're just running around desperately trying to get an engineer to the point, but it's not good enough. You have to be picking off these allied players because otherwise you fish in a very, very big sea. And the communists, they like sharks. Now, Nine minutes exactly. It'll be an okay time. I mean, it's not perfect. Oh, they will get the cold trolls back up by Rafiki. Very good job. If they can clear out the COVID ops, they will do it. Another one going in there as Higgs clears it out. No, Higgs doesn't. Down before he could pull the switch on the satchel charge. Gib in, Fresco, and the Belgians and Norton. Netherlands team have come back. They've got their coolant controls refilling. Coolant Town 1 is gone, but 2 is about 3 quarters full, and now Zero Barrier might just have turned the tide here as they reclaim the coolant controls. But no, there it is. Flick of the switch and the satchel charge is in. Allied side swarming around those construction points. Diablo will cover Rafiki as he goes for the reconstruction. He will get it. Chad and Und, the Belgians combined. Triple MP40 Franks coming in here and Zero Barrier have suddenly in the blink of an eye turned this game right back around, and we've got 8 minutes and 6 15 seconds to go. Mercy will make his way in. Very low HP. He doesn't have a charge just yet either. And he goes for the self-kill. And that cool control is anyone's property right now. Looks like just one Zero Barrier player is there. It is Und who will try to hold on. Three players making their way in from each side as Zero Barrier have to deal with the split attack. Path of House goes off. Doesn't connect. But Chan and Diablo do with their MP40s. Not enough as Ziff hits the deck. Needs to revive. Here's the engineer. Covid Ops coming back around. Oh no, Gigolo ha, hits the deck. And that Covid Ops will not be up. Gigolo needs to be gibbed. As they get that cool control back up, and it is refilling. It is up to about 90% refilled. And once again, Team Massacre never say die attitude here. And the Euros against the Americans might just have themselves a very defendable time. The commies back up here once again for the team for Mother Russia. And now they will come back across. Satchel charge down in on the cool controls. Covered up, picked up before he could blow it up. And now Ziff is just going to finish off that job, but it does nothing to do. Cool and Tower 2 is completely filled as Zero Barrier. Hold on here. Hold on with sheer might. The, the Belgian national team players doing their job, showing exactly why they are in this final on Sunday, I believe it will be, but I could be wrong on that one. Ziff tossing his grenades down. It's going to be another 3 3 split. Two covert ops and one medic in three. One side. Grenade! Ziff connects, and he just needs to get the gib on Gigolo if he can. He doesn't, and the medic will combine. Yes, he does get the gib. Great job. There is another one. I'm getting that picked off and gib on Mercy, and this is fantastic play by Zero Barrier. The goal, control controls are down, though. Higgs is there. He's patrolling as they have to clear up as the. Uh, Zero Barrier have to once again clear it back out. But they did half the job, downing two of the three covert ops. Gigolo back in from the other side this time. He will hold off these coolant controls with his own satchel charge, and uh, now you have to feel it is good games, as coolant tower 2 is about 20% left to go before it blows. But wow, what a turnaround. Zero Barrier have just tossed on three minutes to this map. There it is, objective finished. We have got 8 minutes and 37 seconds on the clock. Zero Barrier will be very, very happy with the way things started out there because they have uh, really, really got themselves a time that is defendable. Uh, in, uh, in 12 minutes, I think the map time is why well, I should know that. Uh, as uh, Zero Barrier, they were down, they were out. That would have been a four minute time, possibly four to five minute time. Now it's 8.37, and now Zero Barrier might even be favorites for this. They really have this opportunity. Depends how organized Kami's defense is. We rarely see full holds in this game. Uh, I cannot think of many that happened this previous season. Um, Zero Barrier have this opportunity now. If their offense is structured, then it really could be something. It really could be uh, a tense finish here. The Commies, what was their strength there? What did they do that worked so well? Well, obviously, the medic work was brilliant. In true communist fashion, they did it for the team. They did it for the good of the country. 
if you know what I mean. Uh, but the question is, what did they? They weren't able to keep control of it. They had no explosives and no rifle nade as an engineer. They have nothing to get a spawn camp down. Let's give you another ATTV right. sync up. We are back and underway once again as the Allied side. Zero so Barrow Panzer comes across, strikes the brick wall, and the brick wall stands firm with 8 minutes and 27, 26, 25, 24. Zero Barrow make their way in, annihilated by the Russians as they connect with all three of them. Now, as they go across towards the left hand side, it's Diablo downed by Higgs's MP40, and Zero Barrow will come back once again. Is that Co MG42 in here, yes it is, it's Gigolo. But give you another ATTV sync up, and no rifle nade as an engineer, they have nothing to get a spawn camp down. Let's give you another ATTV sync up. We are back and underway once again, as the Allied side, Zero Barrow Panzer comes across, strikes the brick wall, and the brick wall stands firm with 8 minutes and 27, 26, 25, 24. Zero Barrow make their way in, annihilated by the Russians, as they connect with all three of them. Now as they go across towards the left hand side, it's Diablo downed by Higgs's MP40, and Zero Barrow will come back once once again, is that a MG42 in here? Yes, it is. It's Gigolo striking across towards the Axis respawn. Uh, sorry, the Allied respawn. Gigolo clicking with one. K43 going in with another. Very unorthodox classes here. We're seeing MG42 and and uh, Sniper. And there we go. They are making their way across. 7.56 on the clock as Zero Barrier come at them once again. If it's uh, first, you don't succeed. Try, try again. Chab makes his way onto the tin roof above the garage where the documents are nestled. Grand frag from Frisco. Rifle aid in from Rafiki. And now they're just starting to pick up pace, but as they do so, the communists slam the brakes on with three frags of their own. Coming across Diablo and Ziff are up at this truck. It has been repaired right now, but they haven't got the parts. They need to get into that garage. They have done so. They've three medics there right now. Chad is one of them. Backing up Rafiki as they down Rev 13, and now they'll make their way across. It is low drops. Doc's dropped as Chad goes down, trying to revive Unt, and now they have moved it just an inch, but it's in the very doorway. It's in the very doorway of that garage. Fire for effect is there. Unt will use the invulnerability to get out of there, and with uh, ex that blowing off now, Un will move these parts away. Little communist revolution coming on here, as they have nothing to hold, nothing to shoot down. They just respawn now. Are they going to fall back to the next stage, or are they going to go for these docks? They are going to fall back and try and hold, set up a flank defense here, with 6.57 on the clock. It's still anyone's ball game, ladies and gentlemen. That final coolant tower stage can go either way. You can either regain control of it, as Zero Barrier did, or you can never get control back. And we'll see what the communists have in that department. Higgs is ready to drop down behind the Dutchies as he comes in. He does do so. Chad downed. Ziff Thompson Frank coming in. Mercy hits the deck. Gig self kills. And Madness with his own MP3. Uh, MP40 frag. Chad will make his way down. Gonna make his way in through the story. And this is the four man push here. They have the Panzerfaust from Frisco. Fame for it in RTCW. Strikes the box. And maybe I shouldn't have built him up like that as Higgs downs. As uh, Un will go for this flag. Backed up by Rafiki. Allied side capping that flag very, very quickly. And now with Rafiki going down to the right hand side to go and plant on the east security door. They will siege onto this next stage with 6 minutes and 10 seconds to go and right now the communists are in terrible terrible position as the Soviet Union is about to fall down can Boris Yeltsin and co hold on at the coolant controls well we will see because they're in grave danger now Mercy Apocalypse all setting up high above we have Hicks about to uh, patrol the upper area of the coolant tower maybe using grenades to hold off either doorway that's something that Zero Barrier didn't do there was very little use of grenades not much spam which is an interesting uh, development considering the European style is very much there. Now allowed though as uh, they will make their way across uh, it is Chad and Lu uh, Un to make their way in from the uh, from the door. They will be downed by MP40 and grenades and slowly the communist side will clear back out. It will be Apocalypse to be, be the last man holding on for the commies. He will get picked off and now the Tastro Charger is tossed in. It will go any second if they can. No it won't. Ziff picked off before he could pull the switch. Great job Mercy. Last man standing and clear it, holding on here desperately for commies. He's got reinforcement. He's got reinforcements for the zero barrier side coming as well. Chan gonna make his way through. Picks off Mercy. Now the satchel charge is in. Now the cool and trail is playing. And suddenly we have an upset for the books here as the Z zero barrier side reproducing their RTCW fame. Rafiki picked off by Ziff's grenade. Where was he aiming that one at? Cool and towers under siege once again. Gigolo MP40 Frank coming in. They have just cleared it off for a second, but I'm coming back around. Gun down rev. Gigolo is also out for the count with four minutes and 43 seconds to go. The unit, the uh, zero barrier side are. Uh
dominant here, running rampant over the Kami team, who are absolutely nowhere near. We have under a uniform, but that is it. They are in position. Ziff is satchel charging up the spawn. Uh-oh, Apocalypse is going to get embarrassed. No, he's not. Apocalypse is going to get <laughs> FG'd. And now the Panther Faust is in as well. Double time, and Zero Barrier are going to take this map, as unless we can have some miraculous recovery. Kill and Terror 1 is down. There were the pliers to the controls, but not going to last very long. Mercy's the last one up. He's going to get the shot down from the right-hand side. It's Rafiki double grand frag that's going to do it. Diablo was a part of that attack as well. It is Chad who's going to hold off for the respawn attack as well. Four minutes and three seconds. They're not going to need ten more of them as Cool and Tower 2 drains and goes away. And now, suddenly, the pendulum has swung. We'll be right back here inside the game to see whether the commies can swing it back in their favor. So, let's say you want DSL, but you don't want to pay those extreme phone service fees just to have it. Introducing Speakeasy One Link and Speakeasy Voice. Internet and phone service from the same great provider as run a month. And oh boy, Zero Barrier have set themselves up big time. They are in the position that I don't think they even could have dreamt about. They absolutely dominated the commies on... Uh, on uh, Reactor, and now we're going to go to a map that's anyone's ball game because it is simply tactical. Both teams will have been preparing for on this map, maybe not, you know, for specifically for this match, but for months and years because Oasis is a stock map. Reactor only used previously in the past season, and now we are in a position where suddenly, you know, it's going to come down to a map that is anyone's, and. Uh, it could go the way that we were not expecting. The Kami side, Cal champions, TWL Alpha champions, yes, they've made roster changes. Yes, this is not that same side as uh, I was made aware earlier. But, you know, there are elements. There's the reason that they, that they kept the name, because they are good enough. They are very good players. And this just says a word for Zero Barrier. It says that they're a team to be reckoned with. I mean, they do have a nice lineup here. But... You know, could we see them at the event? This will be fantastic. Ziff is uh, ready up. We are just waiting on Fresco, I believe, who is AFK, but he now seems to have readied up, so we are uh, we are about ready to go. Um, we have uh, 10 seconds to go. Now, let's see what we can do, because you remember, QuakeCon uses a, th uh, a different scoring system to the traditional, so check up on that. This is going to be interesting. We're going to get this one underway, though. Two, one, we are fight. We'll give you an ATTV sync up in just a moment. But once again, the Kami side lining up with Gigolo, Higgs, Apocalypse, Rev, Madness, and Mercy. Over on the Zero Barrier side, we have Chad, Rafiki, Diablo, and Fresco, and Ziff. And it'll going to be that allied side of Zero Barrier to make the uh, to make the push to set the time for the Kami's to beat. Can they do so? Well, Ziff, M. Thompson, and down Rev. Gigolo hits the deck as well. And already the early proceedings are favoring the Dutch team. They will be fr led by Fresco on the bottom level. A lot of med a medic heavy attack here. Surprisingly, haven't seen a support fire go forward from and or I already missed it. And is leading the charge forward now. Fresco is already down and give. And you know what we say: a field up should never bury his medic. Well, that's exactly what's happening because Und is alive and his two medics are down. And finally, he hits the deck. No hope in hell of a revive because his teammates are dead. Ziff and Diablo making their way up down the left hand wall. It is Ziff Jan to try and desperately get the revive on Diablo. He does so. Revs grenade comes in. Ziff has hit the deck. Rev MP40. He's racking up the frags, but he can't get a gift for Love No Money. Chan did not want to get that revive on Diablo, despite the fact Rafiki was coming up this left-hand wall, and they will push. Fresco support fire above him from his own team, and unconnects, and that's not good news, as now the Kami side have Mercy and Gigolo defending the uh, Old City Ruins. We have got Rev and Apocalypse defending the right-hand walls, left-hand walls if you're an allied, as Ziff will go up to the back wall. It will be Apocalypse and Rev to just crowd him up, and Chad powering through. One and two, Thompson Frag coming through, down to the logo. Oh! Oh, beautiful hat trick there by Chad. And now he will make his way towards this flag slowly. He has one access to the right hand side who's not going to even see him. But Chad has been stopped in his tracks by Apocalypse. And with 18 minutes and 22 seconds to go, Madness has double Panzerfaust down. Fresco giving him a taste of his own medicine. And now we will see quite what Zero Barrier have. They are being held for the first time in this match. They didn't look like that would ever happen early on in this match. Now they are getting a little taste of their own medicine, and we'll see whether they have it in them to come back from that. We'll see what is in this tank of Zero Barrier. Not much in the coolant tanks, that's for sure. Frisco and <laughs> Frisco and uh, Und will make their way up high right. Tra grenade for Gigolo going to be the one to have to try and stop them. It's Madness in fact who's going to have to try and stop them. Gigolo and Mercy down low. Undy and Frisco combined. It's a medic and field op operation to make their way through into the old city ruins. They're going to be picked 
off as they drop down, but in the back comes Frisco, still up the Belgian, making his way up towards the old Tudor Ruins, no, gonna drop down just with his pistol out, Mercy self-kills, Frisco g handed down by that rifle nade of Mercy, who gets to respawn, and with 17 minutes and 32 seconds to go, this is taking a little longer than Zero Barrier might have hoped, four players up to the back wall, gonna hop, skip and jump across towards this flag, Chad prone down by the constructible MG position, backed up by Rafiki, the two medics will soon jump down towards the flag, uh oh, Madness is above them, picked off one with a Luger, gonna follow the other down, and Higgs is gonna stop him in his tracks, they've all got the knife out, and they swarm like a pack of hungry wolves to devour Chad who hits the deck and with 17 minutes and 9 seconds to go the commies team are going to push forward Fresco Thompson downing 2 making his way uh, making his way through stopping any commie, for, uh, commie push back to position they can't get anywhere near it Fresco is going to get swarmed out once again the hungry wolves strike and now Higgs MP40 gets a second frag. Mercy making his way forward with the rifle nade. Will strike to that command post if he has the charge. Mercy's landmine connects with Rafiki. Now it will be another uh, zero barrier push. Fire for effect is down at the command post area. And the commies are very strong at this early stage. Why are they strong? Because they're doing this swarm defense. And it's the only word I can come up for it. It's what we saw the Estonians do on Sunday. It's what we've seen United 6D do in the past as well. Basically, your positions are block for about 10 minutes, then they become swarm. Get the call where the enemies are from your roaming rifle nade or landmine detonations, and then follow your team to swarm around them. And it's exactly what the commies are doing. Loose leaf defending as Madness is about to strike with the Panther Faust. He doesn't get picked up first. Loses a lot of health. Down to about 20% HP. He's gonna strike that command post or lower. He fires up self kills and gives up the ghost on that one. And now we will see as Madness comes back to position quite what they have in the in the can. This is very good though. We always say on IT here to put up a first stage defense and you will do well because on the first stage you can add on extra minutes that perhaps you weren't expecting to. Uh, I mean you know, it's all about the second stage when you practice your defense. That's what you're concerned about. But first stage, you add an extra five minutes on, and Bob's your uncle. You're guaranteed a fantastic. Uh, you're guaranteed at least an average time going on a very good time. As Higgs will go for the back for that flag, connects it right on Axis respawn. Beautiful job. And the only Allied medic just watches on as he dives on his own grenade. 15:27 on the clock, defending the attack from short is Mercy's K43. Frisco making his way up towards the back wall. Thompson in hand. Ziff is there as well, and now they will make their push down. Chad Thompson. Makes Making his way to the flag, taking shots in the back as he does. Med, hand, med, med packs in hand, and the two players will go forward. Allied respawn. Mercy giving chase. Down he goes. Grenade in hand, but it will be nowhere near detonated. And now that fla that wall is about to be sw is about to be uh, 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 sieged by an Allied invasion. We have a full respawning commie team. Self kills coming in by the Allied side. And Zero Barrier now are playing the catch-up game. They're in a great, great position following their first map. But the question is, can they recover on their second stage Oasis offense? Because they really have to. They really are in a dangerous position here. We're going to have about a final time of 5 minutes and 30 seconds on offense first stage. First stage. And they're going to have to fight through the second stage. And, uh... It's looking good for the commies, let's put it that way. Frisco, Rafiki, Diablo, all ready to strike as soon as that wall blows in 10 seconds. Let's give you another ETTV sync up. 14, 26, 25, 24, and 23 as we are ready to rock and roll. Six of them to go as they will make their way through. Panther Faust from above! And Madna strikes death from above! Two of them hit the deck. He could have got all, you know, you wonder whether he could have got all six as they moved. They were unaware of any offense that, come, could, that could come near them. But in the end, it was just the two of them. Diablo coming through. 14 minutes and two seconds on the clock. Right, they pinged off this front wall. Madness to pal. Madness to strike. Ooh, or will he hold it in? Nothing there just yet. Self kill coming in by the allied side. Madness is on the prowl. Grenades in hand. He'll hop, skip, and jump up. And this row Roaming Panzer of Madness will give them all the calls in the world for this swarm-like tactic that we really should come up with a better name for. Gigolo double landmine coming forward. Madness to push up high with his Panther Faust. Allied respawn will be any second now. They'll group through as they come through that main room. Panther Faust, goodbye! And it connects with Champ, but the Mortar is up. Mortar raining down on that North Arch. It's just not connecting as it strikes the wall. Rev is sitting inside that wall, laughing. Ha! Can you hit me? No, you can't. 1326. And is going to make his way through those tunnels. Thompson frag down goes Higgs. And now they will cover this water tunnel as well as Mercy will be on the prowl. No, the Benelux player is about to make the push through there. We have two coming forward. Frisco is a Panther Faust. There is grenade from Madness. He's going to strike with the Panther Faust any second now. Forward he goes. If he can get it off. No, he can't. Chad will stop him in his tracks with that Thompson. Uh, Apocalypse and Higgs will, when Higgs will come through and connect with three straight frags there. They're Rev and Apocalypse are putting the fire down from the North Arch. It's just that simple main tunnels, main tunnels defense. They've got the crossfire down high and low and there is nothing they can do to stop themselves. They are in a 
beautiful position uh, right now to uh, you know just hold on and keep putting these minutes on the time uh, on the timer because it's, that's what it's all about. It is all about the uh, it's about the stopwatch. And if the commies can hold on for as much time as possible, they give themselves this beautiful opportunity to attack on offense. An absolutely phenomenal chance that they didn't give themselves on on, uh, on Reactor. Four of them going to come through. Double landmine frag coming in from Diablo and Und. It's Sif with the rifle. Now. We have got an attack now mounted by Zero Barrier. Up towards the back alley, towards the Oasis. Panther fails for Madness. Three go down. Diablo, Chad, Und, and Ziff all hit the deck. Madness makes it four with the follow-up Luger, and that's a fantastic job. Grenade through. Fresco's going to come into danger here. Madness will get a fifth. He's on five, and can he get all six? He's going to move forward for another frag. Madness five this life as he will make his way through. The Allied side are going to be respawning. Chad double mortar. Madness is still up. He's pushed all the way forward. Here come the Allied respawn. There will be two to go through this old city wall. Panther has one! And Gigolo's MP40 will down two. Chad and Und go down, and you have to feel that's by the old city ruins, but it doesn't matter. Ziff's up to North Annie Tech Gun. It will make his way through. Medic to back him up. Rifle nade in hand. Obviously no charge as he will go get that plant down. They have the two of them in, and the Allied side has suddenly pierced a hole through what was looking like an impenetrable defense. Gigolo falling back. The self kills are in. Do we have an engineer? We have mercy up going towards that command post to try and clear it out and there will be a rifle nade charge on that engineer any second now Diablo Thompson goodbye Higgs but Mercy coming through with a K-43 where is the engineer I don't know where he's gone and with 10 seconds to go the diffusers in the pliers are on the job Panzerfaust coming in oh, goodbye Rafiki was there and Mercy's hit the deck and that dynamite will blow no it won't he got the diffuse right as he did it he got the defuse right as the mortar came in. Two seconds too late. It was. I can't even see it on my console. Dynamite planted. Dynamite defuse. There it was. I almost didn't believe it. I thought he was going to lose it. Fresco double Panzerfaust coming in. Mercy and Hicks have down. Dynamite is yellow on that north once again from Ziff. Second try. Second time lucky. With 10 minutes and 52 seconds to go, they will try again. Thompson coming in. They need to get a second engineer to south because already Apocalypse is there. We have it in once again. Can they capitalize this time? I see nothing in that North Atlantic tank, and I guess it will just be the pure mortar fire from Rafiki, and uh, whether they can hold that up, we'll see. Grenades tossed down towards the middle arch. From the spawn, they will go. Ziff and Diablo will make their way across, and I'll tell you what. <laughs> if you played ET, and you, you'll know North is a conventional one. Get that first. It's so much harder to attack once you have South, but I'll tell you what. If you lose North, and the other team are quick to get South, uh, a form of South defense up, it's so annoyingly difficult to defend, uh, to attack. It really is. Anyone will, play, will tell you this. It is so difficult to get south once you have north. Occasionally you will get this simple mind block that you can't attack it. The Anarchist side will set up a defense in positions you might not expect. They'll have a crossfire. They'll have enough medics on close quarters to one another. That's impenetrable. And this is what we might see from commies, because they are already in position. They have uh, Gigolo in spawn. They're going to get annihilated by uh, two or three coming through. But they've got the Gib. Und is down. Ziff will make his way up towards spawn, but he's going to be on his... He's going to be on his Todd. No, he's not. He's backed up by Diablo, who's going to lead the charge forward. And this is where it's vitally important that Zero Area get organized and get medics doing their job. They are going to have to excel at team play here. We have to, that, We have exactly that as they swarm in numbers. The three players in the, uh, in the bunk bed room as they will come through the barracks. Self kills coming in at the effective grenade, and now the common side are in danger here. They've got three players out very quickly. K43 coming in from Mercy, giving chase to the to the zero barrier side. Engineer is Ziff. He's got one behind. He's got one in front, and he's in a double checkmate position. It's Mercy. Mercy almost at full HP. He's going to behind him here. Mercy. Oh, beautiful job! It's a game of chess and checkmate. Says Mercy. Goodbye to the Allied engineer who was making his way through Rafiki mortar and the support fire from Und. That's two out. Full spawn. Rafiki self kills. He might join up the attack because now at south it's a little bit different to mortar. We have a medic going to pick up one in spawn, and the uh, zero barrier side starting to pierce holes, but it's so much easier to get these revives. It really is. There are three players on the balconies here for zero barrier. They have to clear the way for the engineer. You have to hold that engineer back and then push through almost, as now Frisco will go to south and be calling the bell, ringing the bell. Come, engineer, come. Ziff will come. There he will hop the lamb. I know it'll drop down. He's going up towards that uh, guy right now. South Island Tech Gun. Dynamite is yellow. Being armed. Frisco medic backing him up. Do the commies have anything to answer to it. Rifle nade bounces off the right wall. Support fire is in by the Axis side. It could only hinder their attempts to get in there. It doesn't clear anyone out. There it is. Rifle nade Higgs. Gigolo. Triple MP40 frags coming in by the commie side. Gonna have to try and reclaim South Annie Tank Gun. They have one engineer up. It is Mercy. Only the one with the K43 in hand. Chad Thompson frag coming in. He's gonna hop up. He's got exactly 13 seconds to go. Rev clearing the door. Is there anything? Mortar oh, from Rafiki. Right on cue. And with eight seconds to go, Zero Barrier have recovered to set a time of just over 12 minutes that you 
you might not have expected after that fantastic, fantastic first stage of defense. And they call it a game of two halves, and it was exactly that. Zero Barrier checkmated on the first stage, but they said, hold on one minute, as they moved on through towards that second stage and did a fantastic job. Twelve minutes and five. And the game is afoot here, ladies and gentlemen. The game is very much afoot, because as we look at the... Um, as we look at it, 12 minutes and 5, that's right down the middle. You couldn't have said a more middle-of-the-range time. And, uh... Well, we're going to see if we, when we come back here on Radio ITG quite whether we have what... quite whether uh, the commies have what it takes in them to come back from this. We'll be right back. <laughs> He doesn't that look totally Wolfenstein? Dude, there's verification right here. That it is. Yeah. I was right. Anna. Anna on it, dude. Awesome, dude. Look, you fight a giant elephant, dude. Yeah, that's hardcore. Oh, wait, it says out of grapes. Better feed him some wheat. Yeah! <laughs> go, go, 12 minutes. You gain as the... That's right, you're inside the game. We are go, go, go once again as the commie side have it all to do. If we're still playing ET in 12 minutes, you know that the communist team are not going to QuakeCon. The Cal champions, TWL champions, okay, it's a slightly different side, but they carry with it the reputation. And reputations, the higher you go, the harder you fall. And Zero Barrier are coming from a low distance, and they're going to watch the leaning tower of communism fall. In Minnick Square, 11:35 on the clock. We have got the uh, we have got unset up up high in the old city ruins, backed up by Medic Diablo. But there's no way he can get a revive if he's up there. They're gonna put the fire effect down and begin the spam any second now. Support fire is tossed. It, it's a landmine. Sorry, as I see the smoke, there it will go. Support fire forward. Diablo, Chad, and MP40 bullets ring around the old city ruins as the, the commie side push on through. Revive's gonna have to come in from Madness. His engineers hit the deck behind him. 11 minutes and nine seconds go. Madness to come on through. Again, meet Frisco, and Frisco says, hello, thanks for coming, good night. And with 11 minutes and 2 seconds to go, the commies have to do it all again. They come straight through, there's going to be a 4-2 split, 4 to com four medics to command, and uh, field up a medic down low, and uh, they'll put the support fire forward, hope it'll clear out some, some of the support, some of the crossfire from the old city ruin, and make the heavy push through command, if they can time it right, if they can push that field up forward, but Gigolo is going to have a grenade in front of him, he's going to get that support fire forward towards that back wall, he's already down, Apocalypse is through as well, uh, he's down as well, and now down to the left hand wall we will go, Higgs, backed up by Rev, the two of them will make their way forward, Chad is just going to be a one man army, putting down one, two, three, Chad annihilates all, with a brilliant MP40 barrage, and the Nations Cup finalist, two-time finalist for Belgium has just struck a heart at the communist side. From Hell's heart he stab at thee as Madness, Higgs and Rev are all out. 11, uh, 10 minutes and 13 seconds on this clock. Ziff's grenade connects with Gigolo and now they have a problem. Now they have a very big problem because, t uh, because Zero Barrier, formerly Team Massacre, are equaling up what the commies did to them. They have a beautiful first stage defense setup. Three medics to make their way down towards this left backhand wall. Gigolo and Manthus will get their frags up. The commie side starting to make ground, starting to push, and now they will have to the zero barrier defense adjust. They're coming across from the old city ruins. They're coming in numbers. They're coming un with one MP40 and two support fire frags. Another hat trick here by a Belgian as Frisco MP40 goodbye. Apocalypse self kills coming in. The active side are in position once again, but they don't know that above the flag is Mandus and Mercy who are going to hop down across for that flag. Mandus will get in. No, he won't. Struck down, and maybe it'll be time for uh, for Mandus to just hold on. It was Mercy, sorry, that went down and died. Maybe it's time for Mercy. No, he's got Ziff in the back. He needs to drop down and get the snake ASAP. He's got it. Will it be an allied spawn? Not just yet. He's going to have to hold it off. Chad will reclaim it, and it will be cleared out. And the Axis side hold on to the flag, and they will have a spawn very, very soon. And you just wonder if that was the chance for the Allied side, if that had been timed just that little bit better by Madness, whether there would have been that option, whether there would have been the potential of a flag grab and spawn, but he couldn't capitalize, he couldn't convert, and now Fresco and Chad will rain in the MP40 bullets here inside the game, let me give you another ATTV sync up, 8 minutes and 54, 53, 52, 51, and if I'm still counting down in 8 minutes, then we have got a problem, because commies are going out, and we will see whether that is happening, Mandus, Higgs, making their way down this left wall, Ziff and Rafiki combined. Ziff just pummeling through the two of them as the fire came in from the old city wall. A beautiful team play effort here by the Kami side, uh, by the Zero Barrier side. The very much underdogs in this match. Yeah, they're f they're f relatively old school team massacre. I mean, they've had the two squads now for some time, uh, but 
you know, they are in a great position now. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to go. Madness, Rev, Higgs to push out from this command post to make their way down into the tunnel on the left-hand side. Chad MP40 connecting. Rev will get, get down by the MP40 there. Apocalypse striking one back. Mercy, Higgs, Madness, all out for the counters. The MP40 bullets just nestle into their skull as the three medics will make their way down towards the left-hand side. Higgs leading the charge. He will get up as far as the back wall and he will strike down on Frisco. They'll push into the flag. Support fire coming in by Ziff. Following up with the MP40. He's holding off this flag of one man army now backed up by Un. Here will come the commies once again towards that flag. They'll get the gib on Higgs. Good job there by Un going for the important gib. Madness grenade. It takes down a teammate and the enemy. And he'll get the flag right of the Exus respawn. Brilliant job. Madness has just done it. He's given the commies a hope. Is there a chance for a communist revolution? Well, we will see as now they have got through. The uh, old city wall is about to be sieged as the grenades come across. Ref Chan is there with the grenade. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw a mortar. We'll see a support fire first. Apocalypse and Higgs blown away. Dynamite yellow. Gigolo grenade it down. Man, this is going to come through. Support fire in from Ziff. And the commies are getting told a lesson here. The dynamite will be armed. Yes, it will. They couldn't stop the third attempt. And the commie team will swarm around. They can't get that old city wall. They, they can't get the old city door open just in time. And uh, now they will get the team to revives in and push on. As we see Zero Barrier now having to defend their second stage for almost exactly seven minutes. But, remember, they're going to hold on a little bit further if they can, as they come forward. If they can do this well, time it well with a good spawn, it will benefit them. But, in a position like this, if they make a mistake, it could be crucial, and we will see. 6.47 on the clock. Zero Barrier right now doing their name and reputation from RTCW. Brilliantly proud. The legends of Dalton Dove live on in these six players of Chad, Un, Frisco, Diablo, Ziff, and Rafiki as Mercy, Apocalypse, Madness, Gigolo, Higgs, and Rev have to do something about it. Let's see. They'll push down towards the back alley. Mercy to be picked up by Mar by Rev. Higgs is there. He'll slowly make his way through. The two of them will be there. Six minutes and 21 seconds on the clock. Glamine picked off. Rafiki K43. Rev Thompson downing one. And now he will make his way through. MP45 coming down from Diablo towards, the, towards Rev, who's the last man standing on this offense, and he will not get anywhere. And into the North Enemy Tank Gun. Oh, North Enemy Tank Gun Arch will go too, but will also be struck down by MP40 and landmine combinations. Communist team now need to be very, very unitary. They need to ta attack as a unit because it looks like Zero Barrier are going to operate this very European defensive, having one player going forward from spawn every time, going for the Jihad, and coming straight back two seconds later from the respawn. And it only works if you are organized on every offense you have. You need to know where every one of your six players are going in. And as a, now they lose another one. Gigolo and Apocalypse have gone down. They've contributed nothing to the attack going into that North Arch alone. And they will have to do something. Mercy making his way around towards the South Enemy Tank. And Rev is there. Backed up by Madness. Ziff going to hit the deck around at that South Enemy Tank. But the uh, alarm bells will be ringing. Thompson Frag is coming in though. As Gigolo and Apocalypse will join back up to the attack. Diablo at the MD42 Nest trying to strike. Und is going to be above South as they make their way in. Und will strike them down in the back. Mercy down. And give as a rifle nade is pinged into there. Rev can't get into that South Enemy Tank. Gun for love, no money. But the Revive did go in from Madness. Good job. And he won't get the he won't get the revive uh, the uh, equalizing revive back up. And Zero Barrier clear out the danger. The question is, as Gigolo goes up to the north heading tank and backed up by Apocalypse, they get up the fire as far as the stairs. And it was a beautiful diversion because as three went into south, two went into north, and the attention was on south because that's where the engineer is. And Kami's almost reaping the benefits here as uh, the two of them made their way through. We have four players about to come through. Rifle will try and split them up. It splits up too beautifully like a 9-10 split as Higgs and Rev both go down. The medics are going to pick them back up and now they will go up towards the north to north arch. It will be Mercy to come straight through. The two of them are outside spawn. Gigolo is there, backed up by... In fact, two of them are going to go around the back of spawn. It looks like it's going to be a, a segmented spawn push, but I can't see it happening as the 4 minutes and 25 seconds is on. Ziff double support fire by Apocalypse and Mercy. Madness hitting the deck as well. Fresco getting that one in, and now they have got it all to do. They have... Uh, very little time left on this as Madness, Higgs, and Rev will make their way around towards the uh, d towards the East Arch. Gigolo and Frisco will come straight through. Mercy and Apocalypse right there. Frisco rifle nade. Uh, uh, Frisco MP40, sorry. And now Ziff will take some fire at the North Arch. But really, they have not caused a blemish. They have not caused a single blemish on this zero barrier defense. There are three communists about to go in from north. Uh, it's about to go in from south. And if they don't do something soon, the commies, they're in grave danger. They have exactly 3 minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. With 30 seconds for a dynamite, they have... 315 to attack. They will go on in now. Mercy will come in towards north, towards south. Backed up by Rev. And the two of them will get into south. In fact, 
Dynamite Yellow. Is there anything that can stop them in the upper arches? I don't see it. The grenade will be far too late. Dynamite in. And now Mercy and Rev will hold off in and in that South Ending tank gun. The question is, will they lose position? Because once again, we see Gigolo about to sneak on through. Oh, Fresco, beautiful job. Fresco and Chad realized there was a diversion on and cleared out the danger. Mercy's grenade is in. There is to be no defuse on that South Ending tank gun. They have exactly... 11 seconds on it, and now Zero Barrier fall back to north, because Higgs is at the boxes, and Chad has seen him. Chad, uh, Higgs is down from Diablo's MP40, from the MP42 nest, and through they will go. I think it should be a spawn push now for commies, and it will be a spawn push. The two of three of them going on in here. Grenade is through, but it won't do anything. They need to attack as you know. No! Giggle's gone up to spawn, and Apocalypse has gone the wrong way. They will get. They will now meet up on the spawn, but the question is, will Apocalypse go for the frags or the revives? And in the end, it doesn't matter. Rifle leading K43, beautifully timed. Gonna give and frag. Zip support for Clearing out the danger fantastically as Commies had five up on the spawn platform. In two seconds, they lost the first three, and then they lost the next two. It was a joy to see as the Dutchies strike on the Commies, and now we will see with twelve minutes, uh, with two minutes and twenty-five seconds to go, where the Commies have it. Spawn is weak. We just saw that. They could get five up to the command post area. But the question is, can they hold on this? Port fire up towards north. That will separate the attack even more, as they will have to go through. There's this port fire from Ziff. Revive going in. We have a 4 2 split. Two are going to make their way around to the north arches. Gigolo and Madness. Where will they go? Madness has left Gigolo. Gigolo turns around. No one there. He'll go in from east perhaps on his own, but the rest of the team have to come to, uh, together as a unit. They have some fire coming in from Engineer Gigolo. They have one in spawn that's Mercy, backed up by Medic Rev, and I just don't see what they're doing here. Gigolo, MP40 coming through. This is the time for unity. Play it communist style. Work together for the good of the country, as Gigolo and Higgs will go around from south. It will be a timed attack. Access respawn is now. The two of them will come forward. Grenade making its way through, and Ziff support fire connects with Higgs there. Onto the north end attack gun stairs will go. Gib coming in. Onto Diablo. Fresco, double landmine, and rifle nade coming through, and that attack is cleared out. Exactly 60 seconds to go until Zero Barrier go through to the second round of the Quick One qualifiers, and Commies will fall out and be forgotten about. Through spawn they will go. Gigolo, Apocalypse, and Higgs. Three medics, one engineer to lead the charge. Ziff double grenade, MP40 coming in from und, picking off Madness, but they'll just siege on through towards north. No time to waste as Chad will make his way through. Do they have a last gasp defense? Gigolo down, picked straight back up. They'll hold on through. Chad is going to have to hold on. Rafiki is there with rifle nade. He'll go for the gib if he can. He's been picked off. Chad is down as well. Gigolo gib! Oh, brilliant job! He was picked off and gib by und, and now Ziff is there. Second engineer is through. Mercy, he has no health. He's been, he's through. He's dynamiting through. And there is a grenade raining in from above. He's going to get picked off. Grenade coming in by Und. He needs to get the revive. It's Higgs outside. Dynamite through. Dynamite will be armed right now by Mercy with 44 seconds to go. It's all on these next 44 seconds. If there is one defuse, it will be one defuse too many for co Team Communist. They have got to hold on as Und will get downed in the gun by Higgs with exactly 10 HP. They have Rev coming to back up the cause. I see no engineer. And Commies will take this guy into a tie unless they something magical can happen. Zero Barrier coming straight back through the North End Tech Arch. Two medics there, and that'll not be enough. You need an engineer. The dynamite will blow in five, four, three, two, one. We're tied here on Inside the Game in a phenomenal match. Absolutely phenomenal. Dynamite going down with 14 seconds to spare. Exactly 14 seconds to spare. And it was too little too late for Zero Barrier, who could do nothing about it. Commies got their act together eventually. They really did. But, uh... Wow, what a game we have here on Radio ITG. And um, I have to say, I'm not completely refreshed as to how the third map works. But we'll be right back after we draw breath and reflect on what has been a fantastic first two maps. We have a five-minute break, in fact, so we'll be right back on Radio ITG. But what a game we've got. <laughs> I think now is the perfect time for a little bit of it. Just that little bit of Eye of the Tiger mag Magnet as I have been kicked off for not having the right version of SW Goldrush. Oh dear! We'll be right back on Radio ITG. The US uh, versions of uh, SW Goldrush have uh, exactly a different checksum. Whatever that means, um, as I allow downloads to hope that I'll get it. Let's see if it's... Oh! Speakeasy, I love you. I, speakeasy. Yeah, yeah. www.speakeasy.net They've just saved me my buttocks here as uh, we're redirected to the uh, HTTP download if you are getting a touch of lag because I'm downloading at a, 
at a uh, well it's only 30k so you shouldn't be getting anything at all uh, the entire Zero Barrier team got it as well so fortunately thank you Nelly and uh, I have to give a big shout out to Nelly anyway he, sa- he saves me with my uh, mp3 collection as well but fortunately we have this problem <laughs> resolved as uh, we'll come back here and inside the game and Wow, what a game we have got on, folks. Zero Barrier taking Reactor in phenomenal file, uh, phenomenal style. Not needing half the time they had to get their offense done. Then setting a nice time right in center of 12 minutes, uh, of 12 minutes and 5 seconds on Oasis. What did commies do? They waited to the 44 seconds left to get their dynamite down. Exactly 14 seconds they had to get it in. And they did it. They did it, ladies and gentlemen. Commies have done it. We're going to a third map. It's going to be SW Gold Rush TE. And what a map to fit the occasion. This is fantastic. You're inside the game. We'll be right back. And I know for the Europeans, this might be late, but boy, is it worth staying up for, ladies and gentlemen. We shall return in just two minutes. They started without me, which is always a nice nice way to do things. But we are here on SW Gold Rush TE. The Euros have downloaded a completely different version to the Americans, uh, and we're playing on that, but we are two minutes in by the looks of things, and... Uh already the commie side are on the offense haven't got that tank just yet by the sounds of things the biggest change in this is the mover scale um, and that is all uh, as we make our way through rev to come through up from the back He is going to push through, but Rafiki is there, and the two zero barrier players. will combine on him. Unders holding that side. Zift MP40. Goodbye, Gigolo. Check- Luger, Rev hits the deck, and Ziff is making his way forward. Ziff is being a very aggressive uh, engineer right now, as he is all the way through. We have our landmines in place for Zero Barrier, and we are back underway, ladies and gentlemen. Apologies for the change in map and having to quickly download it. As uh, we go, we have 16 minutes and 56. 55, 54, 53... As the commie side making the way up the rear end, we have five frags coming in here by Zero Barrier. Four MP40, one landmine, and they just clear out that offense. Clear out that attack, a five-man offense coming through from the rear, and Zero Barrier decimating it in the claw of their hand. Now, Gigolo, Giggs, will all make their way through. We have four or five coming in for the commie side straight towards me. Gigolo through, picked up on the landmine, though, and it'll damage his team as he comes off it. There it is, Ziff double landmine axes himself, and that tank has been minimally repaired as Madness with that Thompson picked off by the Luger of Chad. And uh, looking at the looking at the pings, because you understand on ATTV you can't see them. 
Zero Barrier, pretty much 100. And uh, the comedy side, they have a 999. In fact, it is Madness, uh, who is 999, uh, I believe. Um, let's check. No, he's back now. Uh, and with 60 minutes and 4 seconds to go, Gigolo will, make his, uh, will be picked up at the front. There is fly going down. Rev and Bit Higgs are making their way through. And uh, <laughs> Zero Parasite is holding off here. The prone down in front of the tank is Mercy. Picked off and tripped the landmine as he goes. So he's into the gift. Apocalypse, ACP Frank coming through. Diablo down. Tank repaired. They are away. The commie side took f 3 minutes and 15 seconds to go. But they did get the job done eventually. Now... You know, this is a very, very aggressive version of this map, and as the grenades rain down, the the Anxious Defense is all but over now for that fi until that final tank stage, you ha until the final bank stage, and that's the way this map sort of operates, and uh, that's it, it cut out a lot of spam in the middle, which is great, but, you know, it, it sort of sent and is, uh, shortens what is a beautiful map, Rafiki through, and that would be an argument for lowering the uh, mover speed as well, that it does then lengthen it, which... I'm not a visual mover speed judge, so I can't tell. But Higgs making his way through across the very center of the map. 15 minutes and 7 seconds on the clock as the calmly side on this bank courtyard already. They just have the one. They need to flood down in numbers. They need to get across. Rafiki gets, connects with Higgs and then gets annihilated by Mandis' MP40. The Vengeance Frag, they're not going to pick Higgs back up. Rafiki down, not gibbed. Back doors blown wide open. Will anyone get that gold? They have Fresco to clear out the danger at the back of the bank as he will do so. Apocalypse will self kill as they make their way through. Have they got the command post yet on the upper level? They have, and they're spawning forward. Tank still not destroyed either. There's fire for effect there, but they can use it for a few seconds before the fire for effect will connect, and it may not even destroy the tank itself. It rains down. Tank still up. MP40 Frank's coming in, though. Frisco, Ziff, Frisco, hat trick for Frisco. He'll get three out for the commie side. Revive's going in like hell at the old MG position. Diablo MP40 coming in. Madness down by Frisco's MP40. Chad, grenade from Rafiki, and finally they'll get the gives and the clear out at that allied graveyard that is the former MP MG42 position. 14 13 on the clock is now. Chab will go for with his grenade in hand and was looking for the G hand. Didn't get it. The tank is still up. The commies need to be using this because as I look across at the zero barrier defense there are five people who are out to try and cross fire through and that tank would mow down all five of them. Mortar from Gigolo. Mercy MG42 on that tank firing through. One down, one gift. Coming to take a look towards the old MG42 position as they come through. Brilliant job. Madness down, Gib. And those three medics have been swarmed through and the Dutch, Dutch team are in danger danger here. Ziff making his way across. Rev will just jump across and siege through him and make his way across. The tank has now been damaged, importantly, for Team Massacre. Ziff picked off by Apocalypse Thompson. Higgs racking up his own frag there as they'll make their way under underneath the MG42 nest. They will be objective picked up by Rev. He'll connect with the frag on Diablo. Just he shouldn't have got that frag. Rafiki now coming in, getting the equalizer on him. And now with Un's MP40, Higgs is down. Mandus is going to be picked off at the very back of uh, that gold and he will be uh, he'll be backed up now by Apocalypse who'll go into that bank. He'll have to down Rafiki though and Rafiki had the grenade advantage to the start of things. Apocalypse down. MP40 frag from Rafiki. And the d Team Massacre defense, the Zero Barrier defense is nowhere. Mortar shots raining in. Unders down. Chad not getting even sacrifice himself for the revive. But the fire for effects is like a brick wall of red smoke on that bridge and it's a question of whether they'll, it's a question of truth or dare. If they dare you to go through that. And now Mercy will get shot down. Rafiki double landmine coming in. Mortar frag coming in. Ziff as well. MP40 downs Higgs. But the commie side are in the front of the bank now. And it does look like it's just going to be a straight rush. If they can get this gold in and out without losing players then they may just have the chance. They have that objective. Picked up under Frisco. They're racking up their own MP40 frags. Diablo is down at the side of the bank. MG side. But he's not being given. So he will smile when that gold comes out. Chad MP40. Und as well. Double MP40 connecting this time. And Higgs and Madness are both down but the gold is up with Apocalypse. Und Frisco. Are they all lying away from Apocalypse? Rears his head out the back of the bank, going back into the very rear of the entrance of the bank, and he's just swarmed around by a, a Peltron and Dutch attack. And uh, he throws a clog at them and says, I give up. Gigolo, Thompson, Frag, leading from the front, downing both Frisco and Diablo. And with 12 minutes and one second on this clock, Un's grenade will down Gigolo, and the parts will be under fire from Rafiki. Oh, good job! As Rear Madness fights off that K43, picks up an MP40, and will make his way through across the front of the bank. Here come the Yank, one final Axis player. It was Chan who's been defending the uh, defending the spawn. Ziff is going to give chase. If he can pick off those objectives, they'll struggle. The objectives are up with Madness. Madness is going to drop down from the truck route. There is one landmine there that has been tripped. The truck has been picked up, and now that truck will, s will slowly get away. Slowly the pliers are put to it, though Diablo will be just too slow, and that truck will pass the barrier. And with a fire for effect down on the truck, it'll make little difference as the truck is now indestructible. 11.23 on this clock. They'll set a time. It'll be a game. 
right on average. There is a middle of the range time zone, and we're about to hit it for the second map in a row as Team Ma as Zero Variant have been breached. Well played, said, and this has been a phenomenal match of two very evenly skilled sides. As uh, 11 minutes and 5 seconds, the MT42 is in position from under Z strikes up towards the old truck slope. Frisco leading the charge with his pistol, and now that uh, the MT42 from a humble mode down too. Madness and Apocalypse. There you go. There's a moment for your frack movie. ET uh, ET at QuakeCon qualify live on ATTV and you're racking up the mobile MG frags. Looking at the stats, Rafiki, brilliant engineering, 21 frags and 10 deaths. And uh, other than that, not too much to write home about. Fresco, 17 for 12 on the other end of things. 9 for 19 is madness. The Panzerfaust man of Oasis. We're in a good position here because the clock is set to exactly... Um, to exactly 9 minutes and 7 seconds. And yeah, shout out to Cash, he says they're Belgium. I asked it before the match, would they like a Belgian flag or a Netherlands flag? They said Netherlands, so they are a Netherlands team. There you go, from Holland. We have, I was going to say Netherlands. Don't, I wanted to get it wrong there. There we, there we go. Uh, we have Nook, we have Zero Barrier readying up, and this is it. We have these final 10 minutes of ET for this match. The winner will go through, the loser will go straight out. And the Zero Barrier side have already exceeded expectations. They'll be very proud when they got the draw against uh, the Kami team. They will not have been expecting anything. They will have been expecting to go out to the Cal and TWL champions. But no. No, no, no. The Cal and TWL champions are going to have to hold on for exactly 9 minutes and 7 seconds. Because if they don't, they will go straight out. That is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. We are at match point. And what have the commies got? Ten seconds till we get this one underway. You're inside the game powered by Speakeasy and GameCloud. www.speakeasy.net and quakecon.org as we begin the road. Two, one, we are go, go, go. Kami's having to hold on here. Where will the first offense go? Mm, there will be a mortar set up by Rafiki. They've been a very strong on this mortar tactic. They will follow that in with one through the main. They will send three around to the side. Whether they go back or command is uh, the issue. Looks like they've gone all the way around back. They might be going to get that command post up itself. Um, they are going to do so. Ziff is there, backed up by Chad. And, uh, you know, Zero Barrier, rather than going for the rush attack, are actually going for the, uh, set themselves up for the future attack with the command post going up as, uh, Mercy cuts down both Diablo and Frisco in the back with that K-43 avenging the death of beloved Mandus. Engineer on the tank, it's Rafiki, they haven't seen him. Apocalypse is coming around, he might just finish off. Oh no! That tank can only be an inch away. MP-40 and landmines, Apocalypse wraps up too. Ziff jumps over the self-killing body of Apocalypse, and this is bad news for the commies because they've spawned up as the tank has moved, and then none of them are in position. They're bound to trip the landmine, someone finally does. And with the command post already up, they have to fight to get Track Barrier 1 up. They can't, I doubt. Fire Effect is in the path of the tank. Ziff is moving it. I don't see an Axis Engineer at all. No one's put pliers to construction here. We have Madness Artillery and MP40 running down. Fresco and Chad both hitting the deck. The tank has been damaged, but it doesn't matter with that barrier. No one near construction. Madness is racking up both Artillery and MP40 frags. Here they go. They trip the landmine. The angle of fire for effect is in. It's just too slow, but Rafiki's rifle nade is in. It will five spawn for Commies. They will get Un's Artillery raining in on Gigolo as well. Commies are in a bad position. Commies are in an even worse position now as a... Apocalypse, Rev and Mercy have been struck down by lightning. Oh wait, no, it was Fresco's Panzerfaust as he clears out the danger of this commie side with 7 minutes and 26 seconds to go. They are in grave danger because they're going to have to set up a defense on the final stage and it's going to have to be a very good defense. Commies you know, were held on this first stage by Zero Barrier for at least 3 minutes or so. They've not had anywhere near that. They've had two maximum we're onto the final stage already Pantafaust flies across the screen from Frisco connecting with Gigolo and with t Chad and Un both hitting the deck finally Massacre are starting to uh, Zero Barrier starting to lose numbers Rafiki Madness and Apocalypse picking up the frags left right and center the tank is in position though it takes aim it destroys the Venetian beautiful table and now we'll strike down through and as it goes we get the gong to say we have 6 minutes and 45 seconds for Massacre uh, for commies to hold on out. Otherwise, Zero Barrier will be going through, and the communist side will be going out of QuakeCon 2005. Ziff steamrolling through Higgs and Rav, who will try for the revive. He'll go straight through spawn, finally get cut 
down by the MP40 of Madness, but Rafiki will equalize that back up as he makes his way around the back of the uh, bank now. Right on it connects. Oh, and he launches propelling Apocalypse way back. And Zero Barrier steamrolling through. Fresco might just have done it here with a great spawn cap. Three Panzers as he goes. And now the support fire will come through. That might just hold him up. The support fire is forward. Chan has seen it. Rafiki double grand going in. And the spawn has been camped more so than a campsite in Bogner Regis. It will be Chan to reclaim that pat to lose the documents. In fact, as he moved them out, Madness and Apocalypse combined upon him, returned the documents, and with 5 minutes and 55 seconds to go, Apocalypse with the Luger downing und, and he will be backed up by Ziff, who's made his way through. Support fire out towards that bridge. Panzerfaust flies across, and this time Frisco doesn't connect, but he's already done his job way more than he should have done. Two triple Panzerfaust coming in, really setting the tone for team for the communist bastards to have to hold on. They have to do it now, because they have 5.33 to go, and you know, this is where I say it might almost be worth going back to basics, going to that very basic RTCW MP Beach war room defense on your public 30-man server. Sit in that bank and defend that gold with a crossfire on that door of three or four players, and you'll hold on for five minutes and 15 seconds. Mercy to make his way around the back of the mech. He's going to get held off by Und if he has anything to say about it. But Chad reviving his brother in, car in combat and getting that Thompson frag on Mercy. Five minutes and five seconds to go. Und with 60% HP will grab the gold. Chad will lead the charge out the front of the mech and just pincer. Ch uh, well, pincer down. Gigolo Apocalypse is down as well. Fresco hitting the deck. They will move that gold up. Hicks coming in with his own MP40 barrage, and Ziff will lose those documents as well as he picks them up. The relay race is complete. The bar has been passed. It hasn't. Chad Diablo dropping down, picking those parts up, and the Olympic gold medal for relaying those parts home goes to the communist Soviet Union side of Team Comic Bastards, who have 4 minutes and 35 seconds to hold on. This is it. They have madness just going out in front of the back. This is unorthodox in the extreme, but they are just holding on, and that's what matters. Ziff to hold, to bake, jump down through. Fire for effect down in front of the uh, front level, just in the courtyard itself, but it won't connect. It'll be two seconds too late, and it would have struck. They are no, not timing their support fires or uh, artilleries very well, and as Zero Barrier rack up four quick frags, the commie side have a mountain to climb. Ziff is going to pull those parts out. He's around the back of the bank. Fresco grenade. Rafiki rifle. Chad Thompson racking up a second frag as well. That's four out and the Gibbs are in as well. Ziff will push those parts across. Is there a bit twist in this tale? I, no, there is not. Mother Russia is going to fall for the second time in about 20 years as those parts will move through. Support fire pass. They cannot get that barrier up and with 3 minutes and 43 seconds to go the truck is away and the truck is passing Axis Respawn and the and the Belgian side wave goodbye, eating sweet, sweet Belgian chocolate as they go. The truck is up past Old Truck Barrier 1, and now it will move through as Zero Barrier go through to the second round of the QuakeCon qualifiers. Who they will face, we'll find out later. Tune in to Inside the Game tonight as we focus on the bottom end of the bracket for tonight's matches. Both FF.org versus Team Balls will be covered by Trillion, followed by Savus versus Frag Factory. So make sure you're here. It's a late one. It's seven CET, six CET if you're European. Uh, that is midnight over in the states. Check it out. Triple W.